Welcome to SNL Adventures in Food, and I'm back again with another food review. And what do I have here today? Nothing special about this. I'll be straightforward with you guys. All I got is a number one from McDonald's. And for those of you know who, what number one is, it's a Big Mac meal, you know? And I got a six piece chicken nugget to go with it on the side of those, you know? And the sun's hitting right here, but there's only a uh, direction I had right here to park. And record and then i'm watching this oh that i mean when i say oh well not oh older cholo about the way drug dealing right here in the parking lot about and now he's walking around who knows where the heck he's going so i gotta stay alert about though because hey viejito come over here for i slap your ass but anyways back to the food back to the comida i'm in the same spot i was uh, uh the other day you know you see the cars seems like they just want to turn where i'm parked at about those but i got the big mac meal and McDonald's, Ronald McDonald, your people are already messing up, vatos. I asked them, no mac sauce, which is perfect, no lettuce, no onion. But fuck, eh? What happened to ketchup or something on it? It's plain, look at it. Plain. They put two pickles. And another thing, they forgot my piece of cheese. Where's my cheese, vato? Like, fuck, eh? I try to have a decent lunch and you're about to screw it up, you know? Hopefully you guys got my chicken nuggets around there, you can screw that shit up. And then I got the honey mustard to go with it. Damn, it's, it's brighter than shit right here. It's the best I could do, there was no shade. What the, everybody is parking here, like they sleep here in the in the, in the the parking lot, Vato, you know? And then I got the world famous McDonald's fries, eh? You know? And I got me a coca light, eh? Yeah, what's the coca light? Diet Coke, fool. You know what I mean? Usually I get um Diet Dr. Pepper, but I'm good right now. I wanted a coca light, eh? I'm getting my bag for the for the trash right here. Vatos, but I'm back. I'm wearing Dodger Blue because the Dodgers won last night. It was an intense game. Watched it to the end. And she's what though that, that game was crazy, dude. Good game, good baseball. Now we're playing Atlanta, the rematch from last year, the, the National League Championship, Vato, so Salud, yeah. Bolita muerda, they didn't put no queso, but hey, just bite it. Wow, they made this burger boring. Man, your buddies are like, damn, how come you don't put the mac? I don't like the, the taste of the mac sauce. Ah, the coca light is good though, eh? It's bubbly, fool. But uh, yeah. I don't like the taste of the mac sauce. I don't like the lettuce. Wife don't like lettuce either. Onions, I don't like onions, vatos. But they didn't put nothing else on this son of a burger, eh? You know, it's bullshit. McDonald's. What's going on, vatos? It's like whoever's cooking your food is lazy back there. Like, ah, let me put a bun. Nah, let me put a patty, you know? But we got chicken nuggets. We'll put it on, on the honey mustard. At least they're crunchy, eh? So are good and the white goes you better not get a 10 piece nugget oh i didn't i got six piece so they brought me for four eh? i should have got a 20 piece she said nah, don't get a 10 you know i should have got 20 but but right here bring me a review let's keep in touch and now the crackhead vato got a crackhead vata eh? it's just crazy mm -hmm. I walk across the parking lot and he's rolling with the crackhead viejita and he has a basket full of I don't know what over there you know it's like his gold or some shit his pot his pot his crack you know but it's another day in the hood I guess you know but when you guys go to McDonald's what do you guys like from McDonald's I like I used to like the number 9 which is the two cheeseburgers they changed it to a, a number 7 I still liked it. Then I told the wife, I want a Big Mac. So I got it without the Mac sauce because there's something about it that in the taste I don't like. And it was a sauce. I've been enjoying these until today. They fucked it up again. Like, come on, man. I said no sauce, but fuck, put some shit else in the food, you know? But it is what it is, you know? A McDonald's fails, you can't be perfect. You know, you can't be perfect in all the foods that you eat. 
I can't be like, mm, this is good when it's not. It's not. It's good, but it's not what I wanted. These vatos took a piece of cheese out of my burger. They didn't put no ketchup or whatever the heck they else they put minus that stupid sauce. But it is what it is, vato. You know. And I'm, I found some interesting things today. I'm not gonna mention no names. Not mentioning no names. Well, I found out a YouTuber that does food reviews that charges people when they when they claim that they don't charge a fee. You're busted, vato. I'm not saying no names, vato, because I don't want people to get butthurt. But it's crazy, eh? and I don't have no problem. With the YouTuber charging people, hey, make your money, but don't lie. Don't lie that, hey, I do it for free. No, motherfucker, I do it for free. I don't get paid for this shit, eh? I really don't, vatos. You know? So, don't sit there and lie, fool. Say, hell yeah, they pay me and I go to reviews. Hey, it's your hustle, vato. You know? But don't lie, vato. I'm not allowed to kick it, homie. You know? It is what it is. I don't hate on your hustle. Do what you gotta do, but don't lie. Because your nadis gonna grow like Pinocchio, fool, you know? If you charge, that's awesome. And people are, are paying you, shit. I wish I could do that one day, vato, you know what I mean? But, if that day will come, I'll tell people, hey, I charge to do a review. But one thing is, I'm never gonna lie. If your comida's caca, I'm gonna say it's caca, fool. And don't get butter, vato. And no refund. I'm not giving your feria back, you know? That's the truth. But. Who knows? Who knows where our YouTube would take us, vato? You know? It's going good. I could get better. But. We keep it real about those, you know? All right, that bien buena la soda, eh? I don't make like a two foot tall soda, vato. That's the only thing that's good out of this dead meal, you know? I'm down to my last chicken nugget. I was gonna say chicken nugget. What the heck? Another thing. Here I go, eh? I don't know. And what part of the chicken are the nuggets in? Because you know, you know us, we got chickens. And they ask the chickens, hey, where's your nuggets? And the motherfucker looking at me like, what are you talking about, fool? We got no nuggets. Look at the French fries. The French fries are all right. They're not fresh. I think I went at a, a bad time. It's 1 30 when I went. Oh, McDonald's. You ain't cutting it today, Vatos. You look at hungry, eh? The wife's getting off of work late today. It's Friday. And it's so because she's going to be stuck in that traffic, you know? And uh, she goes, go out there and buy yourself McDonald's. Don't tell me twice, mama, you know? And chinga, I was out the door. And actually, this is my second review of the day. I'm not posting to in a day, but if you guys are watching this, you guys watch my Fideo review? Fideo, something different, Vato. And then it's the same day today, just in the afternoon, I'm doing another review. Hello? Uh -huh. I told you, Vato, I'm on a roll now. I'm getting this shit rolling. You know? There's no reason why I can't bring a video daily. At least on our channel. There's no reason, you know? As long as we stay consistent and keep on doing what we do, which I honey mustard, eh? We're good, you know? But, but, there you go, my mind's wondering. I remember when, back in that day, a chicken nugget came in a small little container, small like this one, small like this. 
a styrofoam, man. Who remember that shit? Comment below. Little styrofoam containers. Even the burgers came in styrofoam containers. Crazy, eh? Just memories, boo. And I remember when back in the day, chicken nuggets were like the shit. Eh? You ate, you had a chicken nugget, you were the shit, eh? You know, like, hey, let me touch you. You ate a chicken nugget. That was like, like whatever, you know. Kids don't give a shit. Kids eat them, they throw them at each other, and I'm like, hey, what are you doing? You know, having chicken nuggets back in the day was. Man, you were special, eh? And these kids are like, I don't like it. And they throw it, you know? Uh, hey, what those? But it just shows you how time has changed. And I'm surprised that the... Let me dump these shits in here. I'm surprised that the big, the big Macs, the Happy Meals. I'm surprised they're still coming in the little cardboard box. Really surprised, what though? You know? But now, I think they give you an option. Do you want apples and... I don't know what the heck. Do you want milk? Milk? The hey, vato. Give me milk on a burger or shit, vato. You give me that? I don't give you a milkshake at the end, fool. You know? But you're like, well, they're kids. Why well, not they're kids? But from what I remember, they never used to give us milk or apples or grapes or whatever it was. With the kids meal, I remember just fries. You had an option of a burger, cheeseburger, or nuggets, you know? And a, and a soda, eh? You know? I never had no leche. So, yeah. And it can fight out well, homie, but it's the new time, you know? We're trying to keep our kids healthy. Bullshit, dog. We feed our kids whatever we eat. What the? Get healthy, clutching. Nah, you can see they're a five year old. What are you eating? I'm eating a salad. No, no, Jean, this way. I'm eating a salad. What are you eating, Skyler? I'm eating a veggie burger. Dale, you ask, you ask Pedro. Hey, Pedro, what are you eating? Un pinche burrito de frijoles. Con chicharrón. Fuck yeah, homie. You know, because beans have protein, vato. You know? While the other vato's eating his veggie burger, the vato's Laying pedals because he's loading up the cannon but con los frijoles. You know? Why do you think Mexicans are hard workers? Because they've been eating beans since they were born, eh? You know? My abuelita used to give my aunts and uncles the frijol juice in their bottle, eh? Hey, amigo! And they're fucking drinking the caldo, the juice from the frijoles, eh? It's crazy. You know? But, um, damn, man. It's crazy. Times have changed. The world is crazy. And, I don't know. The world is not safe no more, vato. Everywhere you go, you gotta stay alert. And the, and the white guys, man, why are you looking that way? Why are you looking this way? Because, baby, I said I've been alive for so many years already. You gotta watch your back. Especially now, you know? Can't even go to a movie theater without getting shot. What kind of shit is that? So now it's like, fuck that shit, you know? Before it was like, hey, it's too expensive to go. Before it was like, nah, I ain't trying to get shot, eh? I'd rather watch movies at the pad. And it's awesome now because you can rent the new movies that are in the theaters for 20 bucks. So you can invite everybody, hey, fool, bitch, in. A dollar a piece. That's 20 hands right there, boom. And you watch the fucking movie and shit, you know? And you have your TR right there with the with the iPhone. Hey, let me record it. I'm gonna put it on a DVD and I'm gonna sell it later. Do what you gotta do, Theo, you know? No trip. But that's part of the times changing, you know? Before it's like there was not, not none of this shit going on. You know? Before you go to the driving button and you, and you hide in the trunk, hey, you know? The homies be like, hey, don't make no noise, fool. Motherfucker, I can't breathe. Hey, let me out. And it's crazy. The violin driving. It's crazy right there, man. And the homies. Until you used to cut the, the lock of the of the gate when you drive out. Because they lock that shit, eh? And then they, they put a... The homies used to take a, a piece of plywood to put on the spikes. 
Y vámonos, mami. All the homies driving into the fucking wrong way in the drive-thru. Watch free movies. Uh -huh. Like three movies. And one night, what the? For free. And now, I don't know how it is. But I'm sure it's different, you know? Different shit. And another thing, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking about back in the day stories. How many of you guys grew up watching The Wonder Years, a TV show? With the little white kid, Kevin, I think it was Kevin, and then the other vato with the nerd glasses and the hyena, and you know what? Oh, The Wonder Years, vato. And now they made a reboot of The Wonder Years but the motherfucker look nothing like that, man. Like, what the fuck happened? It makes me wonder where the years went, but though, you know? Now it's really the wonder years. It's like, why do you guys do reboots with characters? I'm a cleaning now. That look nothing like the original version of the show, but though, you know? That's like, it's like, nah, you can't do that shit, fool. You can't do that. You know, and for those of you who have, haven't watched the trailer and know for the one to check it out, Google that shit. And you're gonna trip out like, what the fuck happened to the Wonder Years, eh? You know? And I can't I can't say nothing more, but I just leave it at that. That's not the Wonder Years, what the? You know? But it's like rebooting Sesame Street or Mr. Rogers, eh? You know, like, there you go. It's like rebooting Mr. Rogers, you know? Is that next? Oh, we're returning Mr. Rogers and that what the walks in, like, what up, cuz? Like, what the fuck happened, eh? You know? Nah, I thought it was rebooted, but rebooted right, eh? Don't, don't twist up the story. The fuck was that, eh? I'm hearing noises, eh? Think of Mr. Rogers, what you said about me, fool. You know? But, it's crazy, fool. It's crazy. You know, it's like, it's like doing the Wonder Years with my tios and my tias. Hey, mijo! It's, it's the Wonder Years. No, tia, it's not the Wonder Years. Yeah, the Pan Wonder. No, not the Wonder Bird, tia. It's the Wonder Years, the show, way. Eh? It won't work. You can't reboot it. It's like, don't change the characters on this shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like rebooting Saved by the Bell. Who hasn't watched Saved by the Bell? But everybody watched that shit, eh? You know? And you put paisas on there. Ah! Salvado por la campana, eh? <laughs> Seriously, it's like, you're gonna have your, your, your primo in there and... And you're the primo who came out of prison. He's all the buff guy, eh? Hey. Man, I'm a slatter. Slatter? No slater, fool. But it's just, I don't know, eh? Hey. It just trips me out how the world has changed, vato. And you fool's like, hey. And plus, I'm bringing you a review, a little lunch review, vatos. You know? Comment below let me know. You guys like stuff like this? I'll keep on bringing you nonsense, nonsense. Just talk to keep in tech with you, vatos. You know what I mean? And uh, it's a trip because... I don't know. Like I said, the world's not the same no more, eh? Nothing's the same. You know, I don't care how old school people want to keep it because there's a lot of stuff that they're trying to bring back, but it's still not the same, fool. The vibe is not the same, you know? You got these little kids wearing skinny jeans. Like, fuck, fool, eh? What happened to your webbles? You take them to your leg or you, you, you tape them up your, your craca, fool, you know? Because, like, how do you squeeze into these shits, vato? I mean, I'm not telling you guys to wear, like, back in the day, the solo pants, hey, the big old cholo pants, like, Phew. hey, I used to wear those shit, I thought, you know, but, hey, they were like, why you wear those clown pants? I don't know, it was, a, it was more of a fetish, what the homie said, that was a fetish, you, you were the shit if you wore these pants, you know, it was like, but, hey, I seen a lot of shit when people used to wear those big pants, they used to hide shotguns in their rifles, true story, what the, what do you think the cholos walk all stiff, like, if it wasn't because they starched their pants too, too much, that they couldn't walk bending, or they had a gun in their pants. But now, you know, and then you used to get the thumbtacks and, and tack it to the back of your shoe so you don't drag your pan, eh? Pfft, come on, Vato. You know, been there, done that, but it's stupid, eh? Now I go back and look at it like, damn, what the fuck were we thinking, eh? Now, it's awesome to wear 501 Levi's jeans that fit, Vato. Like, fuck yeah, this is badass. I threw all my fucking clothes away, you know? I was like, I want shit that fits me now, eh? It's just fucking embarrassing. What was I thinking, eh? You know? 
but it's just a trend, but, but now the skinny jeans? Ah, oh, vato. There's no excuse for that shit, eh? What's next? Kids, uh, guys are gonna wear a fucking, what are they called? What are those just called? The spandex, the ones the girls wear, the spandex ones. Is that what you guys gonna wear next? Cause it's close enough to the skinny jeans, vato. You like, you need a breathe, homie. Can you even lay a bed on those shits? Seriously, eh? You probably look like, oh, fuck. I can't breathe in this shit, eh? And as soon as you take it off, because that shit was just pegado in there because it's so, I don't know about those. It's like, there's new trends, eh? New trends, and it's just crazy. Or the other vatos, the other vatos that, should I get into it? Fuck it, I'm getting into it. That sag their pants, eh? And then you can see their boxers, you know, because there's a Walmart or where the heck they bought them. Like, fool, nobody wants to see your nalgas pull those shits off, fool, you know? And they're literally down to their knees. They're like, I said, they're like, how the fuck do they keep them up, eh? I want to do an interview. So anybody that's watching this, that you you work, hey, comment below. I'll do an interview, what though? Because I want to know how you guys keep those shit without falling. You guys are walking, you guys are running. I know fucking shit are halfway down your, to your knees. And you guys are like, yeah, hey, yeah, this shit's bad. And you're like, come on, what though? Just, just don't wear no pants, fool. Just walk around in your boxes because you're showing everybody your, your Walmart underwear, fool, you know? It's like, oh no, it's Louis Vuitton. Yeah, with the skin mark, motherfucker, you know? Pichi Cochino, wipe your cola right, eh? But, um, yeah. I could go on and on with, with examples, eh? But I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it because time is ticking, mato. But, um, hopefully you guys like this review. And if you guys like what I'm talking about, comment below, let me know. And we'll keep this rolling, you know? We'll keep another episode. But other than that, before we go, you guys know the drill. Hit the like button, comment below, share the channel, and subscribe. And for all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And let's keep this channel going. Share it with everybody. And let's see where we end up, Vato. You know, we're doing good right now. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep the ball rolling. And that's all I have for you guys. So um, you guys enjoy the rest of your Friday. And if I don't see you, I'm going to fuck that. I'm going to see you guys because I'm going to be posting throughout the weekend. So I'm not going to say have a good weekend, Vato. Even though have a good weekend, but I'm going to see you fools, you know. But other than that, you guys have a wonderful day.